Uh, so here we are back at the Mark 7. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mold this so I can make a, a Mark 42 or Mark 8 with uh, with this helmet sculpt. Um, so uh, let's see. This is the helmet I used for Halloween, um, and it was painted red like this. Um, I pretty much decided to take it down. There were some lumps and bumps and, and some divots in it that uh, need to come out before I mold it. Um, preparation before the mold uh, makes for a better mold um, and a better product rather than something you have to go back and touch up. So um, you can see I still have the faceplate hinges in here from, from Halloween uh, and my lights, uh, which I just disconnected real quick. I actually have to put a connector, butt connector on here to connect these and also move the battery pack out of the back. The condensation and moisture actually ended up uh, making the lights not work. So, uh, but anyways, so um, back to the helmet here. Uh, so as you can see, I've sanded down most of the uh, the paint here, just in an effort to smooth it out um, and get it prepped for molding. You can see that there's some some uh, low marks here where the red paint was. Now, if you're going to go ahead and, and make something um, or cast something, it's better to have it smooth. So, um, if your primary, use like a gray primer and then a red one on top and then maybe a gray one on top of that. So, you can kind of see the layers as you sand through them um, and not go down too far. Now, with these edges here, I'm going to just basically use Bondo, fill them up, and then sand it back down because I don't want to destroy this edge because it meets up with the faceplate here. So, um, so i got to go around. There's some edges here i got to fill in. Um, and some other things, but basically right now it's just touch-up mode going through and cleaning everything up Making sure it's nice and smooth getting rid of you know little pock marks and divots um, The first pass will be with Bondo uh, the second pass will be with um, Spot putty uh, which usually comes in a tube. It's a red paste uh, You smear it on it takes forever to dry it seems like um, and then uh, sand it down So for larger spots, I would su suggest Bondo uh, like this here here um, and then when you get to the smaller pinholes and whatnot, then use uh, the spotting putty. Now, one of the tricks that I, I use is uh, when I'm sanding this down, I don't sand it by hand. Uh, your fingers have bumps and lumps and, and it doesn't make for an even surface to sand with. So essentially what I do is I take a, a popsicle stick and just wrap it around the corners real quick. Um, and then basically with even, even pressure, just kind of sand the whole thing down. So, um, you can see there, it kind of takes some of the stuff out. And you get a nice even flat surface instead of uh, something that's a little more inaccurate like your fingers. So, it allows you to get in some spots that are tight and you can't get into. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and start doing a little bit of Bondo and spot work on this. Uh, and then I'll be back. I decided to go ahead and make these videos about four minutes long or so, maybe five minutes, um, just so it's easier for to watch. Um, so this is part one, and uh, we'll be coming back soon with the other part. Um, now, the other thing I really wanted to, to hit on real quick, um, this is a three-piece helmet. So you have uh, the face plate, the back part, and the actual main helmet. Um, the, the other helmet I showed you a while back in the last video uh, was the Mark V, and that is actually a one-piece helmet. Uh, I, I don't know of too many artists that actually do one-piece helmets, uh, except for my friend um, NMT723 and uh, someone who recast the helmet, bad, bad, no, no, good, good, in the prop community, uh, didn't you get his permission to do it, uh, Master Lead 247. So, um, but this will this will be a, a three-piece back helmet and and uh, face plate. Um, just because it's easier to mold. Um, the mold for the five actually broke because the amount of strength that taken to pull the helmet completely over uh, was too much. So uh, no more Mark Fives. So which is fine. Um, but this is actually this will be a three piece, so it'll be easier. Um, I should be able to get one or two really good pulls out of out of the mold. Um, obviously, possibly more. So, but that's uh, that's another story. So. Um, I'll be back in a second with some Bondo work.